So an example I think of is somebody that was in one of my mindfulness classes. It was a young mother who was pushing her son on the swing and he seemed really happy in that moment. And as can so easily happen with people with recurrent depression, in that moment she just had this shard of a negative thought which was this moment of happiness won't last, which very quickly escalated into um, I'm not a very good mother, I'm not a very good person, I'm going to pass on my depression to my son, um, oh no, I'm getting depressed again. And this kind of escalation is typical of recurrent depression where very small shifts in thinking and emotion can create this kind of kindling of uh, depressive relapse. And in that sense, it's a chronic and disabling um, condition. Mindfulness is something that can be learned for life. It teaches us um, skills in attention and in focus. And what mindfulness-based cognitive therapy helps people to do is to recognize, to really notice the moment at which that is happening. And in a way, step back, stand back from that moment and actually not allow oneself to be dragged down into that depressive rumination. I had a client once um, after his experience of mindfulness-based cognitive therapy went on to develop um, bone cancer. And he used to write me emails about how he had continued to use the practices and what he'd learned from mindfulness to manage his um, cancer. He wrote to me in one of his last emails how he was also developing a sense of compassion towards his family members. He knew that for him now, um, his life really only had a few more weeks to run. And he could see in his, um, in his children and in his wife a real sense of they were about to lose their father. They were, she was about to lose her husband. And I remember being really moved by that. And really, that was one of the times I really had a sense of when people learn these skills in a program which is initially oriented for depression, they're actually learning skills for life. So I think what I am really looking forward to is interacting with others to think what, is the, what are the challenges of the next 10 years and how can mindfulness meet those challenges. Um, what we have here are tools that can be used to really unleash human capital and human flourishing and meet some of the challenges that we have in the world today.